this may not be for everybody. super excited for this video if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel I'm a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creator of curlychemistry.com where I teach you guys how to understand ingredients and products in your hair from a cosmetic chemist perspective and I also offer consultations for those who want to start hair care lines as well and in this video we are talking about how to utilize oil rinses for longer hair and this is something that you're going to want to watch the end of the video because not only am I talking about what what oil rinses are, but I'm also going to be discussing what oils to use, how to do these rinses, and when to do these rinses because the when in this case matters. So stay tuned. Okay, so first let's talk about longer hair and what that really means for us, okay? So when it comes to longer hair, it's really two parts to it. So you have hair growth, what comes out of the scalp, and then you have lymph retention, holding on to what's coming out of the scalp. I wanna say the biggest percentage of when it comes to my hair is not growing, I need help with growing my hair, it is lymph retention. Now in the natural hair care community, we talk about moisture protein balance, right? But really, it's a triangle. It is moisture, protein, oil, balance. That's really what we're dealing with here, okay? If you've been a part of my channel, you already know that our hair is lipophilic, it is oil loving, it is made up of oil, okay? So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about water loss. Because one of the biggest culprits of a hair is not growing is breakage dry hair. Of course, there's different things like hormones and damage, but for the most part, there is a lack of moisture. And when there is a lack of moisture, typically there is a lack of moisture retention, AKA oil. Because oil acts as that protecting layer to not, not only protect the cuticle, but also protect the moisture that is within it, okay? So let's talk about these oil rinses. So oil rinsing is exactly what it sounds like. You are taking an oil and rinsing it through your hair. Now this is gonna be different than pre-pooing. Because pre-pooing, you are doing it before you shampoo and you're using an oil that is penetrating to the cuticle, like coconut, babasu oil, etc., etc. But in this case of oil rinsing, pertaining to this video you are using a oil that is more so not going to penetrate but work on the outer part of the cuticle the exterior because you want this oil to lock in that moisture smooth the cuticle give you shine and softness now here's the the, the thing okay when you want to do this you want to do this on the day that your hair experiences the most amount of moisture and that is going to be on your wash day. Because if you think about it, that is the, the main time where your hair is going to be exposed to so much water, so much moisture. Now, this is going to be the last step of your wash day while you are inside the shower. So after your conditioner is rinsed out of your hair, then you're going to apply this oil to your hair, kind of smooth it through your hair. What you're going to do is choose an oil. Now, this is what I recommend olive oil, almond oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil, and a few others that I have also in this list right here in front of me. But yes, those are the oils that I do recommend. You can use a half cup of oil, a whole cup, you can use a nozzle applicator, whatever is easier for you. Be careful because it will be slippery on the floor, but that is for the most part how you would do this in the shower. It's gonna help tremendously with lymph retention so that you can see the lymph that you desire to see. All right, guys, hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new. Once again, results will vary, so try it out. See if you like it. See how your hair responds to it, and um, let me know. You know, keep me posted. Comment below. Let me know how this method works for you, and be sure to follow me on Instagram at Charmaine369 for more curly chemistry content on a daily basis, and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more curly chemistry content on a weekly basis. Make sure notifications are on. Make sure you like this video if you like this video. Video. And of course, I have a question for you. Share one thing that has helped you the most when it comes to length retention. Maybe it's a product, a technique, a method, whatever it is, comment below and I can have with you in a conversation with you. Be sure to check out the Curly Girls Guide to Hair Care Ingredients, especially if you're interested in learning more about ingredients in the natural hair care industry and how they affect your hair. I have a link below for you to check out for more information. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, no matter where you are on the journey, I have a link below for you as well. All right, guys, I love you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.